boom, 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 boom. Hello lovelies, welcome back. My name is Teja Azani and today we have a different video. I am so sorry for my hair, oh my god. I actually want to start talking about trends and fashion trends and all that stuff since this is a fashion channel as well as like a makeup channel, DIY channel, but it's also a fashion channel. And so today we are going to talk about the current trends of 2019. I totally forgot I don't have any lipstick on. <laughs> I will be showing you guys a lookbook of you know different examples of the trends uh, at the end of this video so without further ado let's get on to this video first outfit of the day a little bit i have rebels promise hold on <laughs> rebels promise glam bra and rose quartz from the crystal magic collection and also this choker from amazon the first trend and one of the biggest trends of 2019 is neon colors Specifically, the neon green, slime lime green, all that stuff. It's been trending since last year, I think in like October. It's still going strong. You see it all over Instagram. Like it's like a highlighter green. It can be neon green. And sometimes you see kind of the trends being mixed. Because also uh, another trend of 2019 is animal patterns. And so uh, you'll see like lime green mixed with animal patterns a lot. And also I really think that a few other colors that are very popular for the neon spectrum are neon pink and neon orange. I personally also love those colors, especially the pink. And I really think that those highlighter colors are really trendy right now as well. And I feel like the spectrum is going to go on. Like neon yellow is also kind of almost at the same popularity as neon green. Just the neon spectrum. All the neons I feel like are going to be popular for the rest of 2019 and maybe even next year as well. So the next trend of 2019, like I have said already, is animal print. You see a lot of zebra print, snake print, tiger print, cheetah leopard print, just a lot of prints. I feel like that's really, really coming back because it was really popular, I think, in the early 90s and 2000s, especially like leopard cheetah print and zebra print too. And I feel like that's really making a comeback. Also with the animal print, I really feel like it was really jump-started by Rihanna and her tiger print from Savage X Fenty. And I feel like people just fell in love with it on the runway and there's people just ran with it. And so I have some tiger print stuff. I actually should have wore that in the lookbook, but I didn't. I really feel like kind of, she kind of, I wouldn't say started it, but influenced the popularity of animal print. The third trend of 2019 is another like color trend, which is more so like a 2019 trend, but also it's just like a decade long trend. I feel like it's just a generation trend which is pastel colors specifically light blue light pink and light purple those colors i feel like that's just like a generational like trend it's just like when people pull inspiration for like the 2010s i feel like they're gonna pull on the pink blue and lavender pastel colors it's, i feel like it's just gonna be a trend for a long time it has been a trend for years and years and it's going to continue to be a trend if you can't tell i love the pastel uh, pink because you know I mean <laughs> that's how my love of light pink kind of came to be is it became a trend that I realized how much I really do like it and I can't stop wearing it and I won't get tired of wearing it that's just it's a nostalgic trend for me it is another trend which was really popular during Valentine's Day and I feel like it's still going to be like a subtle trend but it's like churro print and um European art on like t-shirts and dresses and all that stuff like uh, I know pretty little thing actually did like like tank tops and skirts and actually a swimsuit with the churro print and uh, you kind of see like you know birth of Venus on t-shirt t-shirts and some other like European art I feel like that is um, like a subtle trend I feel like it's just gonna last for 2019 I don't feel like it's gonna continue on to be a generational trend another trend that has it's more of a generational trend uh, that has been a trend for a few years it's pretty much Yeezy season inspired clothing Yeezy season itself, you know, Kanye West's um, fashion line, I feel like that is like a generational trend of kind of super basic clothing, you know, more of like a relaxed way of wearing clothes. And I feel like, you know, some silhouettes he kind of made popular, like bike shorts, 
you know the ones that go to your knees and then also like a lot of neutral colors as well unitards unitards i feel like was popularized popularized by yeezy certain colors like slate gray silver bone beige petrol gray you know gray blue cargo pants zip up crop tops you know just kind of just like the i feel like it's like a minimalistic like look and vibe super basic neutrals and a, a little pops of colors but they're not like completely different from neutral just very simple but still like a twist on simple silhouettes also reflective clothing uh made popular by yeezy and also i think off-white i believe so and i kind of want to get into the trend i'm thinking about doing a shopping guide of somebody who wears that trend all the time because she's married to him so i'll think about it i'm not sure i'm not sure yet i forgot what number i'm on oh my god i was supposed to be numbering them and i totally forgot <laughs> but anyway the next trend hold on okay trend number six i believe i'm not sure but trend number six of 2019 is shiny fabric so latex vinyl satin nylon all those fabrics i feel like are super duper popular for 2019 especially like vinyl and latex has been popularized for specifically for 2019 but like spandex and nylon has been popular for like a couple of years now and then you also see like the other trends like the neon color trend and the pastel color trend mixed in with the um you know shiny fabric trend satin has been a generational trend i believe it's been popular for years and years i love it you know i have a satin backdrop i always do and i just feel like it adds luxury without it being too expensive and i feel like with shiny fabric it can it like really flatters your body as well depending on what it is like nylon with the biker shorts I feel like it really just makes your like thighs look really really toned and really really nice you know and I just feel like it kind of flatters your body a little bit more and makes your body look a little bit better. The seventh I believe seventh it was seventh or eighth trend of 2019 is sheer see-through fabric just you can see your titties <laughs> you know also that also includes lace and the lingerie trend has been really really popular like just mesh and net and just see through fabric you see it a lot i feel like people are being creative in the way that they um use see-through fabric for my crystal magic collection photo shoot for the carnelian glam bra i wore a sheer bodysuit with a the carnelian glam bra underneath and i feel like that just looks really pretty kind of use um see-through fabric to feature other things either of your body or of you know what you're wearing underneath the lingerie has been a just a generational trend it's a trend of 2019 and it has been a trend for a long time for years wearing lingerie as either you can wear it as lingerie and people are just not afraid to show it and then also wearing lingerie as regular regular clothes this is one of my tried and true trends that sings to my heart obviously i love wearing lingerie as regular clothing because i feel like it's just really really pretty and it just you know changes up the fashion industry it just changes up your style and your look you can go even into like bras and corsets and stuff like that corsets and corsetting has been a trend for a long time as well which i also love <laughs> last but not least and this is like a huge you know number whatever nine ten i don't know <laughs> these are silhouettes that have been a um pretty big trend of 2019 the first silhouette is like the one strap or one shoulder trend has been really popular i feel like it started to get popular last year and really really got popular this year and i feel like it's going to continue to be popular for a few years another silhouette that has been a generational trend for a few years is wide leg pants i feel like they're great for the springtime i love wide leg pants that are like satin or something shiny i feel like it looks really nice and a, and the wide leg pants make you look taller than you actually are i don't need it because of five seven but it does make you look nice and makes you look like you have really long legs the next silhouette that has been popular for like a couple of years a couple of years now that is the trend of 2019 is blazer silhouettes so you're like wearing regular blazers or uh, blazer dresses which i love and stuff like that that's been super duper popular and i feel like it's going to continue to be popular and continue to be like a generational trend of the 2010s it's cute i feel like it's a really nice play of having a structured 
garment but still and like seeing them being classy and being able to like dress it up even more i feel like there's like so much versatility and edginess that you can play with with a blazer silhouette especially blazer dresses another popular trend of 2019 which has been popular for a few years as well has been cutout dresses so dresses with cutouts it might be in the midriff might be on you know the chest or you know you'll see like cutouts all over the place on different dresses and people have been really getting creative about where they're going to place the cutouts on the dresses and i think it's cute i feel like you know it's a little sexy sexy without going like too over the edge what has been popular which i think is also like a yeezy inspired trend is like turtleneck like body suits and dresses so i feel like turtlenecks are just really flattering i feel like it just adds body just all up in here all up in the torso and i just feel like it's just a nice thing to spice up your outfit instead of wearing like a regular scoop neck or a tank top like just having a turtleneck i feel like adds a little bit more flair this is more so a generational trend as well but has been of course popular for 2019 this is what this video is all about i'm so tired of saying that matching sets it's just a staple now you just have to have one matching set i love matching sets i think they're really really cute and i feel like with the matching set it gives you the foundation to really dress it up and put like a bunch of jewelry or if you want to wear a fanny pack which a fanny pack has been super popular fanny pack and like weird sunglasses like you know futuristic sunglasses have also been popular for 2019 but yeah, so like with matching sets, it gives you kind of like the real estate to really dress it up and jazz it up and really make the outfit into your own. All right, so that is it for my rundown. Uh, we are now going to move on to the lookbook and you can see, you know, all the outfits that are inspired by the trends of 2019 that I have curated and all of that good stuff. So here we go. So the first outfit that we have has two trends in one. We have the one strap or one shoulder trend and then also black and white cargo pants. I got the top in the set from Fashion Nova and the cargo pants I believe are from Boohoo. And then I also paired this look with some black like sock boot heels with a chunky heel. This is one of my favorite outfits because it's like comfortable. Just kind of it has a street wear type of vibe. So this is the second outfit, which is actually one of my favorite outfits. If you can't tell why this is one of my favorite outfits, it's because it's pink and light blue. I am wearing a churro dress from Sugar Thrills with my infamous pink fur jacket and some my stripper heels from the Ariana Grande transformation video. And the company that those shoes are from are from uh, Pleaser Heels. So this is another outfit that kind of represents a couple of trends. It has the pastel blue trend along with the churro trend. And then also it has a little bit of like the shiny fabric trend because the churro dress is like just made out of a stretchy satin. I did wear this on my Instagram already and I just had to pull it out for this video. I just absolutely love this dress and I'm trying to find more excuses to wear it. This outfit has a very similar vibe. This is the third outfit of the lookbook and I am wearing like a white crop tank top along with pink vinyl pants that are also light pink and then the same shoes as the last outfit. This outfit actually also encompasses two trends in one outfit, which is the light pink pastel color trend and the vinyl shiny fabric trend. The top is from Fashion Nova, which I also believe it was from like a matching set, and the pants are from Hidden Colt, and you know where the shoes are from. Also, I paired this outfit with white sunglasses, and they are from the sunglass spot. The fourth outfit of this lookbook is an outfit I want to wear, like, all the time. This is a matching set. It's all black, black on black on black, and I actually paired this matching set with the same boots that I wore in the first outfit, which I forgot to say, I think they're from Public Desire, by the way. But the actual um, matching set itself is from Fashion Nova. You guessed it. It's always from Fashion Nova. They took over my closet. But I really like this matching set because I feel like it really complements my body and it's really comfortable. And also the top, I believe I wore braless as well. So, and so obviously this outfit encompasses the trend of the matching set. The fifth outfit of this lookbook is one of my favorite outfits this encompasses the lime green trend along with the vinyl trend along with the snakeskin animal print trend like i am just so here for this freaking outfit i feel like i'm a part of like the scooby-doo 
gang i got the um snakeskin bodysuit from boohoo the uh vinyl lime green skirt from i believe dolls kill and then i'm wearing these same stripper heels i like to call them and then the belt i got from like a local store but it's just like a regular white belt and i just i'm absolutely in love with this outfit it just gives me so many retro vibes so if you're like a retro type of person 70s and 80s even a, a little bit of the 60s too i feel like it has a lot of 60s vibes as well if you're into that this is like the perfect outfit for you and i just love lime green on my skin tone as well so that's that outfit so the sixth outfit of this lookbook is a total Instagram outfit. You can actually find this outfit posted on my personal Instagram at TZ Season if you want to follow. I am wearing a zip up crop top that is from I believe Pretty Little Thing and shorts, shiny shorts. I forgot where they're from. It's either Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo. And then I'm also wearing a fanny pack, of course, the Instagram staple of 2019. And I got that from Boohoo and the same white glasses I wore in the uh, fourth outfit. I paired this outfit with these cute little block heel zip up um, boots that are white from Public Desire as well. It encompasses a couple of trends. It has the fanny pack obviously or bum bag but I call it fanny pack. My mom used to wear these all the time when she was managing events so it's a fanny pack to me. I'm also wearing you know the neon orange trend and then as well as like the silver reflective trend that is going on right now this kind of almost like a futuristic vibe to this outfit the seventh outfit of this lookbook is a neon pink cut out dress got this from fashion nova this is inspired by like the one that kim k wore and i loved it on her and then so when i saw it on fashion nova i was like this is mine immediately and i love that it's more of like a neon pink and I think it's made out of like this nylon fabric, but it's really like it holds everything in and then it makes my thighs look good in the dress. And I paired this dress with these glasses from one of my favorite accessory companies, um, I Still Love You New York City, or I forgot how you pronounce it as an actual word. And I just absolutely love these sunglasses. I also um, paired this outfit with some clear heels from Simi Shoes, like the Perplex clear heel trend that's also a huge trend that's been going on <laughs> for like ever is the clear heel trend so i figured like this is a really nice neon outfit i have a little bit of neon orange for the glasses and then the huge bright neon pink it just it looks so nice it's a great combination so the eighth outfit of this lookbook is another one of my favorites i feel like the majority of these outfits are my favorites but it is a neon yellow bodysuit along with these petrol gray sweatpants and neon yellow boots i just love this color combo it's just it looks so good and it's such like an unlikely color combo because the neon is super bright and the petrol gray is super like muted. I got the neon yellow bodysuit, which is actually a swimsuit from American Apparels. And I got the sweatpants from Boohoo. And I got the neon yellow shoes from Fashion Nova. This outfit also encompasses two different trends. It encompasses the neon color trend and then the petrol gray Yeezy trend. And I do have to say that those sweatpants from Boohoo are so freaking soft and cottony and comfortable it's just insane like they're my favorite sweatpants of all time the ninth outfit of this lookbook is another one of my favorites because they're all my favorites but it is a leopard trend slash beige outfit the like beige nude is also has been a generational trend so i kind of threw that in there to match the leopard print but obviously this is an animal print trend outfit i have a leopard print bodysuit from boohoo a teddy uh trucker dra jacket from boohoo and beige nude shorts from i believe pretty little thing and i paired them with these like yeezy gray blonde green boots from i believe public desire the 10th outfit of this lookbook is a very interesting outfit i have on a purple pastel lace bodysuit and these yellow satin wide leg pants the purple bodysuit is from pretty little thing and the yellow satin pants is from boohoo i also paired with this outfit a strap up lace up light purple 
heel open toe heel which is really cute that i got from fashion nova this outfit encompasses the trends of the sheer and see-through trend the lingerie trend the pastel color trend and the satin shiny fabric trend it has a lot of trends up in here but it's really nice and cute and it's another like spring type of outfit the 11th outfit of this look this is a reflective outfit if you can't tell i am wearing like the zip up reflective top uh, along with the silver biker shorts and the same white block heel heels and it's like another cute outfit another futuristic outfit very yeezy like very off-white ish and it's like super minimalistic and almost utilitarian and i just really like it i got the reflective top and bottoms from pretty little thing and of course again the shoes are from public desire so this outfit encompasses the trend of the reflective trend and the silver bike shorts and also the yeezy biker short trend the 12th outfit of this lookbook is another futuristic yeezy ish type of outfit i am wearing this like deep just blue unitard from sorella boutique and it just looks way better in person, like it's way shinier and it makes my body look super toned. Along with the unitard, I am wearing the fanny pack again from Boohoo, the glasses from the sunglass spot, and the neon yellow boots from Fashion Nova. I freaking love the combination of the yellow boots with the blue unitard. So this outfit includes the trends of the unitard, Yeezy, type of trend the neon yellow trend the shiny fabric trend and the fanny pack because you can't forget about the fanny pack all right so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope i didn't talk too much and i hope you got something from this video let me know if you think about any other trends because obviously i didn't get all of them i just chose kind of like the ones that really stuck out to me the most so comment down below of other trends that you have you know noticed for 2019 um, please subscribe to my channel, turn, turn on your post notifications, I have some really um, fun videos coming up. As always, like I say in every video, please love yourself and I will see you next video. Mwah!